hello welcome to my channel if you're returning welcome back as you can see by the title of this video this video is really special and exciting for me because i am celebrating 1000 subscribers yay i waited a long time to get to this point and i'm very thankful for all of those who have subscribed and are enjoying liking commenting on my videos and if you have not subscribed, please make sure to do so. So in celebration of 1,000 subscribers, I wanted to give back a small little thank you to all of you out there, to someone who wins out there. And I'm going to be giving away a $50 Visa gift card. And I specifically got one that says, you rock, because you do. And hopefully, or maybe, you can use this $50 gift card to go to one of the restaurants that I'll be mentioning in the Pocono Stroudsburg area. So please be sure to watch the entirety of this video to find out how to win this $50 gift card. So moving on. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing the best restaurants to go to comparable to New York City. If you're like me and you used to live in New York City and you were spoiled with all of New York City's restaurants and all the variety, and then you come to PA and you're like, what in the world happened, right? There's a bunch of diners, there's a bunch of chain restaurants, and it's really hard to find a really good place to eat. Well, lucky for you all, I've been here for about six years and it was my mission to just keep searching and trying new places. And I found a nice little handful of really good restaurants comparable to New York City. And when I say comparable, I mean if they were located in New York City, they'd be very popular there as well. All right, so the first restaurant, I'm gonna be showing you photos. I'm gonna be putting photos up because every time I went to these restaurants, I did take pictures of my meals and I'm glad I did because later on I did have the idea to do this video. So the first restaurant, I have my little handy dandy notebook here. Um, all right, so we'll start with Spanish food. If you're looking for a really good uh, restaurant to go to and you like Spanish food, there's a Dominican restaurant called Cocina Dominicana. And when my husband and I went there, it's a really small place. There's not a lot of room to sit and eat. Most of the people that went, they took their food to go. But I'll put photos above. I had, when I went there, the Monfongo shrimp. And it was, the way they plated it was beautiful. It was delicious. The Monfongo was moist. My husband had yellow rice with beef and it had like a sauce on it. We just decided one day, it was really cold and we wanted to just have some um, Hispanic food and feel cozy and we just went there on a really cold day. Again, a very small place. A lot of people were taking it to go, but great food, delicious, affordable. And yeah, it was definitely worth, um, worth if you're planning on going with like four or five people, I would just call and make sure that there's space. Again, it's a really small place to go, but you can always take it to go as well. Okay. The next Hispanic restaurant that my husband and I went to is called Viejo san juan latin restaurant this place was amazing it was huge the they had spanish music playing it smelled amazing everything was fresh the servers were friendly they were nice they plated the flute the food beautifully um i had white rice with a little side of that bacalao with like the chopped up peppers and the oil like the olive oil sauce and i also had a monfongo with a side of chicken chicharrones now the mofongo i must say the mofongo at cocinera dominicana was delicious but i have to say i have never ever in my life even for um when family members would cook i've never had mofongo this juicy and moist and tender i kid you not it was amazing so i had the mofongo with chicken with uh chicharrones we had yuca with the red onions we had some chicken empanadas my husband had arroz con gandule we both had a baked piece of chicken and my husband had a side of black beans now again it was friendly they had music playing um the food was fresh um and they have a nice variety of the, uh, the drinks that hispanics usually like to drink i know when i go to a hispanic restaurant i love i love to either have a malta or um cola champagne or cocorico my husband had cocorico and i had Malta. So it was really good and we were full for I think the rest of the day. We went in the afternoon. Now the only thing about this restaurant is it does open at 11 so they only serve lunch and dinner but it's very understandable because the food is really heavy and you'll be full for days and of course they serve enough where you can take food home. Okay all right moving on to the next restaurant. This is by far one of my favorite places to go. I love 
Asian food. If you're an Asian food enthusiast, you will love this place too. This place is really close to our house in the Poconos. It's called Sue's Thai Cuisine and Noodle Bar. I used to go to the same Thai spot in Brooklyn when I lived there every Wednesday night for dinner and I would always have their beef pat siu with their spring rolls and a Thai iced tea. And when I moved to Pennsylvania, it took about it took about five years to find the right spot. I tried so many Thai places and none of them were comparable. And when I found Sue's Thai cuisine and I was driving, it was on my way home and I saw that it was newly opened. I went in and I was pleasantly surprised, you guys. It had so many high Google reviews. It's owned by a husband and wife. The husband runs the business. He's at the front. The wife is actually from Thailand and her and her sister are the ones making the foods. The food is delicious. It's exactly like the dishes I used to have in Brooklyn. And what I normally have there is I usually have their beef pat siu, which is the broad and rice noodles. I love their chicken stir fry, which um, you can have their stir fry and their pat siu and their noodles. They do have pad thai. You can have it with tofu, with chicken, with beef, with shrimp, with just vegetables. I love their curry puffs, which I'll show you guys pictures, their chicken satay, their spring rolls, their pineapple chicken fried rice is delicious and their Thai icy and also their steamed dumplings. So their food is really good. You can take it to go. You can get it, uh, you can eat in. I will say that the atmosphere is not as nice as the atmosphere in New York City. They did try to renovate one of those old school looking diners. So the inside is not, is not as ritzy and pretty as you would see in New York City, but the food is delicious and it's definitely worth going there. All right, so let's see. Moving on. My next favorite of Asian cuisine is Vietnamese food. I remember going in New York City. I loved going to this one little tiny Vietnamese spot and I would have their classic Viet Vietnamese sandwich which is in a French baguette and it would have like a type of coleslaw with it and then they would also have the noodles. So this place is called Pho Saigon 3 and my husband and I, I took my husband there for the first time and it was actually my first time going there as well and I was pleasantly surprised. When I looked at all the Google reviews there was a lot of high reviews and I knew it was going to be good because a lot of the reviews were coming from Asian people themselves. That's how you know it's a good place and it's run by a family. They had like their little kids helping pick up dishes and putting them to work. It was clean and it's really big and spacious but it does get busy you guys. So something that my husband and I had there we have the faux beef noodle soup. Something that's really good about the beef noodle soup you can have it vegetarian, you can have a chicken, you can have a beef. And what I really like about it is when you order the beef soup, you can choose your cut. So they have like the brisket, they have different cuts of beef. You can choose it well done, rare, medium rare, um, and all that good stuff. My, also, my husband and I also have the right white. My, my husband and I also like to have the white rice when we're there with the little beef cubes and teriyaki sauce. Uh, we had the classic Vietnamese sandwich, but we had it with chicken. Um, and it comes in a nice crispy baguette is very refreshing. We have the crispy spring rolls. Then we have the vegetarian spring rolls that come in that clear rice paper. And they come with a dip uh, peanut sauce that's delicious. Um, they're Thai tea and they also have iced coffee. And sometimes my husband even has this big, it looks like a pork chop, but it's actually chicken. He'll have that with right rice and a fried egg and a side of tomatoes and cucumbers. Again, in all these restaurants, my husband usually, or my husband and I usually order a few uh, appetizers and we share, um, we'll share like one meal, we'll get our own meal and we'll get drinks. It usually comes to about $60. So comparable to New York City, the prices are really good. Okay, the next spot for all of you New Yorkers out there, pizza. Oh my goodness. It was so hard to find a good slice of pizza here in Pennsylvania. I found this place last year. I was always passing by it. It was always there and for some reason I just never went. One day my husband and I were going to Verizon and we decided to go have pizza right next door and now it's our only pizza spot that we go to. This place is called Frank's Pizza. Okay, when I used to live in the city I loved the margarita pizza. It had like a thin crust and it had the sweet tomato sauce with fresh mozzarella with basil and the, and the olive oil drippings. Frank's Pizza has the same thing except it's a little bit of a switcheroo. So Frank's Pizza calls the margarita that we call in New York, they call it the grandma slice and then they call the grandma slice which is a thick slice of pizza with the mozzarella that's not melted and tomatoes, they call that the margarita. So it's a little bit of a mix, it's a little bit of a switcheroo but it's still the same exact thing. I also love their um, Caesar salad slices. They do have their own in-house special 
um, salad slices where they have like their own sauce and it's um, peculiar, uh, it's it's specific to them and it's really delicious. They have good garlic knots, really good, um, really good chicken wings, and they also have desserts. They have cannoli, they have cheesecake, and it's a really big place. It's open late. I believe it's open to like 10 o'clock at night. And yeah, so it's a good price, good food. You'll definitely love it if you are a New Yorker who's looking for a good slice of pizza. Okay, now there are some places that I want to mention that are a little bit outside of the of the Poconos. But if you're someone who is willing to take a small little drive, then I will mention these as well. Before I mention them, the, the chain restaurants that we do have here that are really good are Jersey Mike's and Panera. But if you're looking for... A diner if you come if you're coming to the Poconos on the weekend and you want to wake up on like a cold Saturday or Sunday morning and go to a diner my husband go on my husband and I love to do that on Sunday mornings when it starts to get cold out we love to just like put on some sweats and drive to a diner and have breakfast there's two places one is in Tannersville Pennsylvania it's called Billy's Pocono Diner I'll put pictures up here and it's always packed you guys Sometimes it's so packed that they'll have a little sign on the door saying that it's a 20 minute wait. And my husband and I will just stand there and wait because it's worth it. The food is really good. The service is really fast. The people are friendly and it's really good prices. So my husband and I, I've had the brownie dessert when I went there. My husband and I, my husband usually gets an omelet with like a side of home fries and toast. He gets these big chocolate chip pancakes with coffee, with um, decaf coffee. I've had the fish and chips with a nice little side of coleslaw. And I also like their wraps. Something I really love about diners and let me know if you're the same way. I love their mugs. I don't know what it is about diners, but they have these really big, thick, fat coffee mugs. And if I've yet to find them in stores, but yeah, I really love diner mugs. I don't know why, I just do. The other diner that's really good, it's a little further out as well. It's in Bath, PA. It's called Town and Country Diner. Again, this one's slightly bigger, a little more well lit. It's always full. The service is really good. The food is delicious as well and it's clean and it's called town and country and it's pretty much the same type of food that you could get at any other diner it's just a little bit further out the way okay if you really want if you really want to be adventurous and go out the way there's also a um a restaurant called the boathouse it's the it's near lake wallenpapak so if you're here and you want and you're taking a drive to lake wallenpapak you can ride on the boat there they have ice cream shops there um i believe you can go fishing there people go ice fishing there in the winter so it's called boat ha the boat house and my husband and i had i had a grilled roast beef sandwich with sweet potato fries they had not we had uh, nachos we had a uh, chicken burger with coleslaw dessert and there's this asian meat i forgot what it's called but i'll show you a picture where it's kind of raw in the middle and normally i would have that at asian restaurant and when i had it at the boat house it was delicious it was I was tuna so it was seared tuna but it wasn't fully cooked and it was like raw in the center my husband and I were pleasantly surprised by how delicious the tuna was and I love the boathouse because you have a variety of different types of meals they have American food um, and they also have food that you wouldn't expect them to have so there's a large variety of food that you can have at the boathouse and the other one is a little ways out also it is in eastern Pennsylvania it's called Amman's Artisan Indian Cuisine my husband and I had been there twice. We went there once when we were dating. And when we were celebrating our anniversary, we drove all the way back to East. And it's about a 45 minute drive, 45 to an hour, depending on traffic. We drove back there again because we remember that they had the best tofu wings. They were covered in this like sauce and they were just delicious. It was the best tofu wings I ever had. The texture tasted like chicken. It was amazing. They had delicious jasmine rice with the little side of the, uh, the bread. I had goat curry. And we, we had multiple drinks that like fruity drinks and yeah, it was just really good food. It's slightly pricier. They are very busy as well. So when, before we went, we did actually reserve a table online and then we drove there. So if you're looking to go to Amman's Artisan Indian uh, Cuisine, you definitely want to reserve a table when you go there. And yeah, so that's it for now, you guys. I tried to list as many as I could. Again, it's really hard finding good restaurants here in the Pocono area. But I really hope that when you come down here, you will try one or more of those restaurants. And if you win this $50 gift card, maybe this will be what you can use to go to one of these restaurants. To win this gift card, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, 
like this video, comment below, and I'll be choosing someone in the next few days. So be sure to subscribe and like this video. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. That's all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. Stay safe, stay blessed, and until next time, ciao. Like, comment, subscribe.